In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to export data from Leica Captivate and import that into Carlson Survey. I'm here in Carlson Survey 2019, and I want to show you a couple of settings that you'll need to make sure that agree in both your Captivate software and then also in your Carlson software. So the first thing we want to do is go to Survey, and then I want to go to edit field to finish codes and we're going to open our code list and a couple of things to point out to you um, if you're going to use the method I'm going to show in this video you'll need to set up your line codes in Carlson with an asterisk so you'll see here I have a sidewalk code and I, I'll edit that so you can look at it so my code is sidewalk star and uh, the full code name is sidewalk the description here also a sidewalk. Uh, that star is going to allow you to use the line numbers correctly coming from, from like a Captivate. One other thing we need to check and make sure that it matches into our Captivate software is our, is our special code features. So I'm going to go to code table settings, go to special codes, and a couple of things we need to do is make sure that our Captivate software agrees with your, your line work special codes here in Carlson. So I've opened up Leica Captivate and I'm going to go to settings, customization, coding, and, and then I want to go to our line work tab here. And what we can, what we need to do is make sure that our settings here in Captivate match our special code features here in in Carlson and the big things are your start line command, your start curve command, and then also your close line command. So go, again, we'll go back to Captivate and you'll see here that again, we do match. One thing you do need to have these settings uh, created and, and set before you begin your project in Captivate. So I'll press OK and I'm going to export my Rose Hill Park project here for use in Carlson. So I'll just give you a look at the project here in Captivate. So I'll go to my 3D viewer and you'll see that we have about 360 points and some lines here. And we're going to import those into Carlson Survey. So I'll go back to the main screen. I'll click on my tile and go to export data. I'm going to export ASCII with a format file. The format file I'll choose here is called Carlson PNEZ underscore uh, LW for line work and then for attributes. I will attach a link in this video uh, description so that you can download this file. I'm going to transfer this data to the USB drive. It's going to go to the data directory and you'll see here that we have a, a file called rosehillpark.txt and I'll press OK to export. I've already exported this once. I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite the file. So I'm now back in Carlson. I've created a drawing. I've opened up a coordinate file. And I'm going to go ahead and import the ASCII file that we just created in Captivate into Carlson and allow the field to finish process to work. So I'll go to points. I'll go to import text ASCII file. I'll select that file. Now this is uh, Carlson does remember the last place you went. Here's my ASCII file. I'll press open. And a couple of things to check here. I usually have point protect on and I have my draw points set to field to finish. If you just want to import the points and have it draw symbols, you could set this to draw locate point. But I do want the line work to come through, so I'll leave this on field to finish. And I will press OK. Uh, this data was collected with a Leica GS18T from a real-time network. Uh, this is the reference point that was used in the, from that we collected and was stored in the file from the network. I'm going to skip that. I read in 369 points. I'll press OK. We can just leave this box checked here, split all multiple codes and press OK. You'll notice our line work came in. I have resized my point attributes to make our line work a little bit easier to see. And we'll just zoom in here a little bit so that you can see some of the features. So we have a parking lot. Uh, we have um, a picnic shelter here. 
uh, bathroom facility, you will see down here that I did have one error in my line work. And this is because I forgot to end a, a curve here as it was coming around and actually put my PT over here. So I could go into the coordinate file here in Carlson and I could uh, edit the coordinate file, change the description and reprocess my field to finish and adjust the line work.